<laughs> okay, so here we see this logo here. It says Leonhard, and there is a cube. The cube, of course, it has uh, squares on it for the concept of four, or the square and compass. It has a pyramid here, down here. And on the left-hand side, there are three lines in white. It's white and blue, blue for the war and white for the New World Order. And three is the concept of three, which stands for the compass. So it does say square and compass all over, you know, everything. I haven't seen this one before. It's really, it's very, with the pyramid in it, it's very interesting. Look, it's the concept of three, somebody living here. Can you bit further noch? Yeah, stop. The concept of three here. So these are really pharaohs here in the house. Okay. So here's a logo, you know, it's in red and white. Templars colors. There's three in white, so the concept of three all together, it's four. So it says, it says square and compass. And there's a, another, a three circles. You can put the, the two crescent moons together, like, and then the other are also circles. And the concept of four stands for the, the square. Why, why do they put it in red, eh? Well, there's a reason. So this is a cup from Tübingen. It's a town in southern Germany. And you see the points here. Here are three. So the concept of three standing for the compass. So there must be a fourth one here. Oh, look, there it is. Yeah, so it says square and compass. So four stands for the square. And there's also three in green. You see, one, two. And here three together with the one in grey it says four so it's everywhere square and compass and three plus four it says seven and what do I see here look 70 it says that the smoke of tobacco there are more than 70 ingredients in it that give cancer more than 70 so why don't they say more than 80 or more than 75 it's probably 75 but they don't say 75 right or they don't say 69 you know or they don't say 80 because it needs to be a seven so they can put their stuff all over it's probably more than 100 things in it that gives you cancer you know so there's the seven, it's the concept of three and four. And the O is like the circle here for the compass. Again, you know, why not say more than 20 you know, or more than 50? 50 is a nice round figure. No, they say more than 70. So that's the concept of three and four. So this is a package of cigarettes in Germany, it costs 15 euros. And um, three persons in it. You know, the little one, Horus, Isis, and Seth. You know, it's and uh, it's everywhere. So here in France, it's uh, Easter Friday, two thousand and twenty-two. And this is a baguette, well it's a baguette de campagne, so it's a little bit more like brown. It has a uh, full grain in it, or a little bit. So the government have put their agenda on the bread. Here it says um, victims of violence. So that means, here it says viol, that means rape psychological violence, touching, insults, harcèlement, uh, emprise, violence conjugale, uh, violence in the marriage, forced marriage, um, sexual aggressions. So that means any woman who is not satisfied with her man, she can call up the cops and say, well, he touched me or he, you know, he wasn't nice to me and the man goes in prison.
But so what is the, uh, of course, their agenda is always the family. With this, the government, they can get themselves inside the, vam the family with all their, you know, all their government pedophiles and perverts, you know, so they can get our kids. This is the aim of it, of course. And, and to split up the, um, the, the man and the, and the woman, you know, to, like, like Mr. Jesus said, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, put everything up, everybody up against each other. A man and a woman, a father and his son, etc. Well, well, this is exactly it, you know. It's extremely evil. And it says so in the Bible. I mean, uh, Mr. Jesus said some very evil things there. Well, of course, he's from the house of David. Well, I mean, what, what do you, King David, you know, what do you, what do you want, you know? So this here, I, I don't have enough light here. This here is the, um, is the flag of, uh, of Alsace here. Uh, some other things here, Gendarmerie Nationale, the, the, uh, the, 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 the country, the country cops in France. Uh, it looks like a, um, like a virus underneath here. Uh, there are a lot of tel telephone numbers. And as we have seen, you know, I've, I've been aggressed by, by Alsatian women here in France. And uh, the women are allowed to, to, to hit a man. And I know this, so I did not retaliate. You know, I, di I didn't. Because if the man, if he hits back with all these laws, what you see here, well, he goes to prison and not a woman. And they say, oh, the poor woman, I mean, it's the... Um, um, I mean, the man is, have, has to be the aggressor. It's a war against the masculinity, you know. They all want to make soy boys out of men and out of their sons. Th that's what it is about. So the woman, she knows she can, she can provoke the man, you know, day after day. The guy is tired. He comes from work, you know. He's been working in the cons on a construction site. And then she, she goes like... Uh, uh, oh, this is not good, and this is not good, you know, and he said, well, shut up, you know, and well, she calls up the police, and the guy goes in prison, and can't see his children anymore, and this is how they, the evil ones get their fingers inside the family, which is the aim of it all, you know. So, <laughs> they put it on the baguette. I've never seen this before. And it's, it's like black and white, you know, it, it looks, oh, it looks evil. It is evil. And this is Easter Friday in France. And why Easter Friday? You know, why? Well, I just told you so. Because the guy from the house of the royal house of David, he said so. I told you so. Jesus said so. I'm gonna. I'm 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 gonna divide everybody. Uh, you know, hatred. You know, and and so the the man. The woman hates the man and the other way around. This is why this is happening now on Easter Friday here in France 2022 in April. Evil, 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 evil. Now I wanted to write something down on a piece of paper, a Swiss paper, as you can see here, a Swiss company. A cube, of course, which is a square. And there are, on this side I see three little squares here, so it says the concept of three and four. Tri uh, vadis, tri it means it means three. In um, in Latin vadis it's like going. The three is going it means like you know. So why do they put the three letters in a different color you know? And why the three squares? And here as well and why the it you know makes it or it but makes it easier what is it well the other red thing which says the square and compass because a square is a square and the three which is a concept of three it says square and compass only by the three squares here you know and that's it you know makes it easier what well, makes it easier if you're freemason yeah of course it does if you've got you've got the company it's everywhere, you know. Just write 
want to write down some something you know on a piece of paper you'll immediately see these these logos you know of our, of our pharaonic masters look here this is Pfaffenheim Heim it means home in German same word Pfaffen I have no idea look they make they made a funny A why do they do this why the funny A what is it so I've never seen this why do they do this I think it's really weird so anyway we see here the Templars cross it's in little Alsatian village so they speak German here as well Alsatian and it has the crescent moon so this is related ah, shit hitting the fan again so this is a reference to the Crusades first there is a Templar's cross and here's the crescent moon because the um, Oh, they were visiting the uh, the Muslims, so to speak, eh? and they went together. Here you can see the Knights Templars. They were together with the um, with the nobility of the Muslims. That's why we have all the Muslims over today, because it's the nobility that decided this. And uh, actually, this is not just a Templar's cross, but it's a Teutonic cross. Why? I show it to you. Oh, look. Here's the concept of three. There are three of these poles here, you see, one, two, three, for the concept of three, standing for the compass, and they're quite square, sort of, they've got three poles in it, uh, four poles in it, sorry, with a square on top, so it says square and compass, and of course, there as well, and of course, where the mare is, so... So this is the mayor's office, and here you can see it is in fact the um, a Teutonic Knights. There you go. It's the black cross of the Teutonic Knights together with the Muslims. And it says ADMC, well it's the date. And uh, I saw something else, it's a nice little village, Pfaffenheim. And then I saw here, here it's a bit older here, here as well. And it says here as well at the well, the well is of course octagonal. Here as well, here's the coat of arms again with the cross here. This is octagonal, it's octagon. There you go, crescent moon and the Knights Templars. And of course the symbol is, of course, it's also, it says square and compass. You know, in the cross there's a, uh, there's a square and the crescent moon is sort of a circle which you can make with a compass. So it does say square and compass, you know. Oh, here it's X, double X, triple X. This is probably quite old. So there again, it's, um, it does say square and compass, you see. The square on top, and here the compass, in a different way. Just like this one here. Oh, I can't see it. Too much sun in my eye. Oh. Oh, I can't see it. Well, anyway. So there's another logo here. I don't have to tell you what it is. There's a square on top of it. And there's a circle underneath where the two keys are on. So it says square and compass. With a compass you can make a circle. 
and this is a perfect 90 degree square on top of it and the whole thing is also in a circle so it really says square and compass uh, two keys well, I think the Vatican has two keys that has also an importance for them totally Masonic by our masters the pharaohs and you're just your sh their slave uh, this is something with um, uh, uh, houses and um, I forgot the name of it I'm losing my English um, real estate of course they have got a lot of money the all Freemasons real estate that's quite clear okay bye bye you slaves so here's a map of the town of uh, Colmar and you see this here it says two times a square and a square in the middle for the square Where's the compass? Well, there it is, the circle, which is the compass. With a compass, you can make a circle. And here too, they, they just put a square here in the middle of the picture, here and here as well. Why do they do it? I mean, what, what's the use of it? It destroys here. It's in the middle of all the colors here in the, in the picture. Well, they do it, so it says square and compass. Yes, square and compass. It's all over. It's everywhere. Everything belongs to them. And here too, this cup, you know here, it's a circle in the middle for the compass and it's in a square. It's full of square and compass and the whole thing. Here's every time there's three, three dots. Here it has four squares, so it says the concept of three and four. The whole bloody thing. And it's of course black and white like in a in a um, Freemason checkerboard configuration, the, uh, it's also black and white. It's, uh, there's probably a lot more to see as well. So here, here of course, is a pyramid. There are three, uh, three levels for the concept of three. And the whole thing is on a square. So for, it says square and compass. And it's full with the uh, Templars V's on it which you find now in the Russian armor and all this, it's always the same ones, right? And of course, because I'm, on the, uh, I'm in the town of uh, Bartholdi, Frederick Bartholdi, who is the guy who, uh, who gave the Statue of Liberty to America. So, now this is the mayor's office. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna discover a lot of interesting things here. Yeah. Three levels on a square. It's a square and compass. And, uh, yeah. uh, here an official symbol of the town here. Of course there's a uh, the compass for the circle and it says the uh, two times the compass actually. The green one is also a compass, it's not a square. And the name here in Alsatian language, they call it Colmer. Mer, it means the pyramid. Well, we just saw the pyramid, eh? Uh, I think it was yeah, behind there. And we got this here. It has a square in the logo. Of course, in Templar's colors, red and white, it's all over. Uh, maybe the 110, maybe that's a circle, like. This, this symbol, it stands, you know, Caesar was having it. Well, he became the dictator, but I think it also stands for the Italian Republic, for the Senate. Uh, Caesar, he made a dictatorship out of a republic, a horizontal rule became a vertical rule. So everywhere in the streets you find these little triangles, the Statue of Liberty in a pyramid. So here we get to the reason that the maker of the Statue of Liberty that uh, he was here in this town called Colmar because this is a genuine Knights Templar commandery and uh, so here lies the origin here of the New York Statue of Liberty because Bartholdi he was born here there are several Statues of Liberty because of the French uh, uh, liberté, fraternité, égalité, the French liberty or freedom 
uh, equality and um, fraternity. So this here is a fraternity. And look how it's, um, it's Arabic. You know, all this is, this is Arabic style, you know. And this is why, because of these guys here, we got all the Arabs here, all the Muslims. Because they were together with the Muslims. They are, they betrayed us and they still do. I've got nothing against Muslims or Arabs, but uh, there is an enemy within. Oh, it starts, it uh, starts getting windy, so I hope you can still hear me. So, let's have a look. So there are always these, um, I tried to do it a bit slower this time. I know I'm always too quick. I know that. So, mm, that's it. <clears throat> this is very Arabic. You find these sort of buildings in the south of Spain as well. Look at these, look at these devils here, you know. Knights Templars, they are devils. Uh, so, and here you can read something in English here. Now, well, this was not built in 1608, because there were no more Templars then. Here's in German. Here's an old picture. And this is the, uh, the thing I just filmed for you, the pyramid with the Statue of Liberty in it. Number 27. Uh, it says here, um, the house of the, the Knights Templars of Saint-Jean, which is the same commandery or order where the French President Macron, he was in that school, remember? So if this was built in 1608, which I don't believe. And you know you've got the um, you got the proof that the Knights Templars still exist. Uh, and this is the sign of Colma, their coat of arms. Called Mer Pyramid. Uh, and uh, there's a pentagon in it. Of course, because it's so this is very, it's a very powerful town, you know, if, you know, talking about the, uh, the enemy within. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see something, probably not. Let's see if the door is open. I don't think it is. No. Nobody here. Okay, well this is around, there's a school. So the house is not, it's not a Alsatian typical style, like this here with the wood. It's typical Alsatian, or they do it in other places as well. This is Arabic. Knights Templars, they had an alliance with Saladin. And you know, this can be considered a proof of what I'm telling you. And I found you many more proofs. And there are two towers, you know. Maybe Yashin and Boas, you know. Templar dudes, I'm getting you guys, eh? It's a real Andalusian style of building, you know, the architecture. And uh, how many pillars do I see? Well, there are eight. You know, in the middle here, down there, there are, and up there, there's every time. There are eight pillars for the octagon. You know the, the 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 outer ones. It's part of the of the of the wall. Andalusian construction. And this here it looks a bit like a serpent. You know, like a cobra sort of thing. Oh, I can't see it. Where is it? There. You know, a little reptilian stuff. You know, which they apparently have in the. Uh, well, I can't say the name. In Pharaoh's poison. And I found these sort of things also in the uh, uh, on the uh, the National Bank, the Central Bank of Switzerland. Remember these here, uh, these statues there in the middle. 
So this here too is part of the commandery apparently. I can't get in because it's a school now. But uh, I'll show you the... Yeah, it's just some more on it. Yeah. They said that the hospitalers, the commander. Oh, so they were here from 1191 to 1210. You know, 1291 is when they founded Switzerland in the end of the Crusades. So, and this is all related to the Statue of Liberty. Here it's in German. And here it's in English. Yeah. There you go, this is the, the entrance. So this is about a thousand years old, eh? Oh, this is a square, you know? Square and compass. The whole town is very, very occult, you know? I don't know what this is. Sort of a lion's head, maybe? So, unfortunately, I can't get in here. So oh, this is apparently, looks like a Knights Templar's uh, chapel here. Oh. oh, it's a school. Can't get in. So I didn't see this. This is a tomb of a Templar, probably. Yeah. And the uh, uh, door's closed. It's a skull. <laughs> this guy is apparently, what was it, a colonel or something, living here. Of course, he was living next to the opposite the commandery, like. So oh, this is this building of the Knights Templars from the other side here. And there's a nice little canal like. And it's again it's a school. It's I'm pretty sure it's another posh, posh school for the elite. Just like in uh, in Strasbourg where the president was in, eh? So there's a lot of tourists here and I'm all getting on my nerves, eh? Here you see the uh, the other side of the other thing here. So where you see the obelisk, there's a Freemason lodge, still in the, side, the town of Colmar, where they made the Statue of Liberty. Uh, shall we have a go a look, or shall we turn around? What do you say? Okay, you win. Well, let's have a look. So here's the Freemason lodge, where of course, uh, Bartholdi, he was in here, of course. Hey, okay, look, there's their symbol here. Grand compass, and uh, you're seeing I, the obelisk. I'll do it a bit slow for you. I had so many re requests. Coat of arms here, three of course. Death. You know, the thing is, I also did it so quick because I've got the heavy back on my back, you know. So, it's really pulling. That's the reason for which I usually did it a bit a quickie. You know. And uh, uh, there's the Sun Eurocliff, of course. Wow, the noise of the cars here. Yeah. There's the Grail. And uh, there's a lot more to see. Well, let's have a look. See if we can cross the bloody road here. I had to take my pack off, you know, because I can't move up, you know, to film. I do like my sewing work. This here, and this here. So, this is interesting. It says here, Foyer Wolfler. 
And Wolfle in Alemannic it means little wolf. Where is it? Yeah. And it's interesting because uh, the name Adolf, like Adolf Hitler, it means noble wolf. Adolf Wolf. Adolf. Adol, it means nobility. Yeah. So, you know, all these, these rulers, they all have a, um, a code name. Like the code name for Hitler was um, Noble Wolf. Or, you know, he had the Wolf's Lair. You know, that's why he had the Wolf's Lair. lair. And, um, like the French president, his code name is Jupiter. Because the, um, the bunker underneath the uh, Elysee, it's called uh, Lomp. The, uh, the place of, the, uh, of the, the, the Jupiter bunker or something like this. So, this I really had to take off my pack so I can do it a bit longer for you guys. Uh, which I can't do when it's, you know, pulling me down now. My backpack is really heavy. And, um, yeah, these wings there, you know. Where is it there? And the wings on the other side are different. They are like reptilian wings on one side. Yeah, and on the other side it's like birdie birdie. Yeah. So... So Bartholdi, this is related, this thing here, to the Statue of Liberty. This is where I was born, sort of, you know. Uh, Frédéric Bartholdi. So this is sort of their wolf's lair, so to speak, you know. What does it say? Association Clemenceau. Huh. Let's see if there's any letter for me. Oh, I'm gonna pull it out, look at it. So here, on the door here as well. Um, I'll pull it out when I come back, maybe. Here. Yeah. It says here, the circle and a pyramid in it. And it, look, it's the peace sign upside down, you see that? Which is not a coincidence, it's a peace sign. You know, I already showed that to you. You find it inside the Pentagon. Where they, you know, where they walk around, you know, like. So, yeah. If there's nobody looking, I'm going to pull it out. The bastards, you know. Okay. Do I have it? Look. Yeah, I've got it. Any letters for me? Look. What does it say? Oh, look at this. Hmm. Okay. It's my letter now, look at it. So, this is the Freemason Lodge, very much related to the Statue of Liberty. Oh, oh my letter. There it is. So. Now oh, there he is, Bartholdi, with a little Statue of Liberty next to him. Uh, where's, your, where's the freedom, eh? I'll explain to you what it means, and it is, com it is coming from France. So, let's see. Yeah. Auguste Bartholdi. Giving the Statue of Liberty from France to America. There's an intriguing sort of a castle. Let's have a look. Now what does that mean? It all remember it all has a meaning. So what does it mean? Sisters of Isis We're next to Switzerland. And here is what it says here.
my hand is shaking because of all the weight. Uh, This thing is Cercle Saint Martin. The circle is the compass, and always when you see like Cercle, you know it's something secret, Freemason, like an order. You know? There you go. Oh. So, oh, here's a bridge club, Bartholdi. Oh, you know, eh? There's a casino here. Looks like a castle, like, you know. You own it as well. There's another more letter bo I love letterboxes. Well, maybe I shouldn't do it here. You know. Cercle Saint Martin. The Holy Martin Circle. The Secret Circle. Bridge Club, or well, you know. These are the type of sports they do. Play bridge. Well, we don't need your bridge head. <clears throat> I should get the gear off. Well, I go to the other side. So. That's the tau symbol. Yashin and Boas. Oh, yeah. oh, that's the flag of Alsace. Well, it's a new castle, nothing old. So, this is the justice, not very justice department, with a lot of obelisks, of course. And here, too, there are two here, with sort of a sperm on top of it. Means we are here, we're raping your women. And, uh, probably the fart here somewhere, as usual. So it says Cour d'Appel, it means justice. So here we see a square and the concept of four, with four square pillars here on each side and a circle in the middle so it says square and compass eh? so obvious and uh, on the other side as well it's always the same in the Freemason in the Statue of Liberty pyramid town now last night I was looking for a place to sleep I was really knackered, my first day out again. And I saw the Ukrainian flag, so I, I thought, that's a nice lawn, there must be solidary people, you know. So I asked them, you know, yeah, no problem, yeah, you can put your tent here. So I put my tent here, and uh, I can't see it. There you are. And uh, it happened to be next to the, uh, Right next to the lodge, the Freemason Lodge is about there, you know. Oh. That noisy road. Just can't let you sleep in quietly. I. So I in the middle on a roundabout. The roundabout is a circle, so stands for the compass. But there's even the concept of three, three cubes. And there's a square on it, you know, on four sides. So it's a, it really says square and compass all bloody over. Yeah. So I'm here next to Milus, I'm in Colmar. Just a sergeant of the French army took me. I, I, I knocked on the window on a petrol station. I didn't feel like, like walking anymore, you know. So now I'm at the, at the, at the, at the, on the motorway trying to hitchhike to Strasbourg. And me, Homie Ross. And uh, look at this. Got the sandals on again, right? Look at that. So it's April 2022. And I'm 
camping out next to a nice lake in Strasbourg. I'll go and see my fisher friends, the Turks. Uh, there's the motorway. Last night I fell down, as you can see here, I fell down, yeah, and it was dark and I was in a bend on the road with all this on my neck, and I couldn't get up anymore. And I thought, you know, there's no light, nothing like the car there. If there's a car coming up, he's, he's going to run me over, and I just couldn't get up with all this, with all the gear on my neck, eh? So today's Sunday, you know, it's Saturday night, and there are still, you know, like people passing. And these lamps, they don't work anymore, like after, I don't know, nine o'clock, you know, like here. It's just sort of out of the way, you know. So homie Ross was lying there on the, on the street, you know. I didn't see this, I didn't have my lamp on, you know. If they would have been, you know, coming around the bend, they would never have seen me. I was lucky there was no car coming and I really, it took a whole, uh, such a long time, you know, to get up with all the gear on my neck. Uh, it was horrible. I, f I felt like a, uh, you know, like a, like, like some insect on the road, you know, that, that was just run over or that's not fast enough, you know, I couldn't get up. Yeah. That was a weird sensation, eh? Me. 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 <laughs> Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Square and compass with the sun behind it. Lying there like an insect on the road, huh? That's my daughter, Alvina, 10 years old. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? Nice, nice tree. Look, look up there. Nice tree. <laughs> 